My name is Jason DeCarries Taylor, and I am a sculptor that has turned the ocean into my exhibition space, making installations for marine environments which over time transform into living, breathing ecosystems. As part of this year's Oceans Week 2020, I wanted to give you a brief insight into the world of underwater sculpture. I've spent the last 16 years constructing projects across the planet, with over a thousand sculptures installed in places such as the Caribbean Sea, Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans, under icy fjords in Oslo, and even tidal waterways such as the Thames Estuary in London. Some of the installations exist above and below the waterline. Like portals to another world. Designs turn barren stretches of seabed into homes for large schools of fish and marine life. Each of the works explore a different subject, whether that be human migration, our relationship with the natural world, or threats we face such as climate change, habitat loss and species extinction. The sculptures are constructed using inert pH neutral materials designed to attract marine life. Surface textures provide substrate for juvenile coral polyps to attach. Historically, we have always tried to conquer the natural world. I hope my work tries to reset that relationship, to show that we are an integral part of nature, but also that we are ultimately at its mercy. Some of the tidal works change colour according to water temperature and warn of the potential of coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. Others as forms of activism, critical of our dependency on fossil fuels. We are shaped by the sea. Our ultimate survival is dependent on it. My work tries to visualise that fragile and intimate relationship. <laughs> 